use mid journey for free okay sorry this was the silly hook line that chat gpt suggested to me for this video let me come straight to the point we all know what an incredible ai art generator mid journey is and it has the potential to turn newbies like me into professional photographers and artists but it costs money to use every month and maybe we are not in the mood to spend that sort of money yet so i went about looking for some free alternatives to mid journey and some of them are pretty incredible in today's video we will check out five such ai art generators which are free to use and can be potential mid journey killers or mid journey alternatives how good these alternatives are compared to mid journey i'll reserve my judgment towards the end of the video and share it with you guys what do you guys think about these alternatives let me know in the comments below let's check them out the first tool that we'll check out is by stability diffusion and their latest release on stable diffusion to access this for free come to this website called clipdrop.co i'll leave the link of the website in the description box below once you come here come here and make your account once your account is made come here on the tool section click on this come here and click on stable diffusion excel this is to access stable diffusion's latest release for free then you'll see this interface so recently on instagram i have been seeing these cool photographs of various celebrities in india so i'm inspired by that and we'll try to recreate that here using stable diffusion so just type in the prompt here so since tom cruise's latest mission impossible movie is about to release I'll type Tom Cruise doing puja in saffron robes in Varanasi in India. Once you've written the prompt, click on generate. So here the images are. They seem really cool. Let's check them out. This is the first one. And if you like it, you can come here and click on download to download the HD version. These are pretty neat. If you don't like the result, you also have the option to regenerate all the images. <clears throat> Just come here and click on regenerate all images. This one is insanely close. Let's go back and try another prompt. Now that we have seen how to create such images using Stability Diffusion and ClipDrop, I'll quickly run through various other prompts in this particular tool. If you feel if you don't feel the need to see the other iterations and the other prompts, you can skip ahead to the next tool, which is timestamped in the video below. Kate Winslet doing meditation in a sari at the Varanasi Ghat, which is a very historic ghat in India. Click on generate. and here they are let's check them out the next prompt i have written is kate winslet doing meditation in the himalayas in a sari click on generate this is the result not very close but pretty good elon musk dancing wearing a kurta at an indian wedding generate here they are these are pretty nice Musk seems to be having a real good time. Okay, the tennis legend Roger Federer in saffron robes at the Ganga Ghat doing aarti. Click wow. These are really um, wow. These are really amazing. Let's try another one. Arnold Schwarzenegger doing puja in Varanasi. Rock the famous wrestler walking in the streets of India eating pani puri. Here they are, pretty nice. Check, this is really cool. It seems as if he can have a few dozen of those easy. Harry Potter in Varanasi in India. Click on generate. Wow, these are beautiful. Look at this. Let's try another one. Elon Musk walking the streets of India. Click on generate. Here we have. Elon. Let's try another one. Virat Kohli as Superman. He has been a Superman for the Indian cricket team. This website also has other various cool features which you can use. You can just go back to the home page of this website and you can see all the various tools they offer which are all for free. Here you have this option of cropping or uncropping images if you if you use their reimagine model you can just upload an image and it will give you umpteen number of variations of the same image as you can see here 
You also have this cleanup option which lets you remove certain objects from images. You can also remove backgrounds. You can touch up your pictures. You can remove text from images. You can replace the background and almost imitate product photo shoots. And you also get to upscale images. So this website is almost like a gold mine for all us AI and photo enthusiasts. The next tool we'll check out is called bluevillow.ai. This tool is almost an exact replica of Midjourney, except for this tool is absolutely free to use and their quality is pretty good. Maybe not as good as Midjourney according to me. But so once you come to the website, I'll leave the link of the, web of the website in the description box below. This is the interface you'll see. Just click on try now for free and you'll have to create your Discord account exactly like Midjourney to use this platform. Once your Discord account is created, this is the interface you'll see. You'll have to come into one of the rookie rooms. Just click on any of the rooms. Come here. Click on imagine. Forward slash imagine to type your prompt. I'll click on imagine. Now we'll use another trick to generate highly detailed and intricate prompts. Just go to chat GPT and you'll have to have your plugins enabled. Then just download and enable this plugin called AI RPM. Once you enable this plugin on ChatGPT, this is the interface you'll see. This plugin has an inbuilt mid-journey prompt generator. Just come here and select this. Then come here and type in the keywords of the image you want to create for this tool to generate a professional prompt for you. For instance, I'll try this here. So I've written the keywords here of what I want to create and then click on this message. And like this, this prompt generator will generate four detailed intricate prompts for me, something which I find very difficult to express and create on my own. Here you can see, so I'll just copy the prompt from here. I'll go back to my Discord server and paste this in the blue below rookie prompt box. I'll paste the prompt here and I'll click on enter. And here is the result created by blue below. This is absolutely fantastic. The quality is amazing. And you must remember this is absolutely free. So if you like any of the image, just click on upscale here. So whichever image you like, you can just click on these U1, U2, U3, U4. U1 represents the first image. U2 represents the second image. U3 represents the third image. And U4 represents the fourth image. Here you will see the images have been upscaled. So you can just right click and save the image to your device absolutely free without any watermark. They have also added this feature by which you can <clears throat> pan left, pan right, up or down in the image. If you are not happy with the results, you can click on V1, V2, V3, V4 to create variations of the various corresponding images. Look at this. Look at this result. It's pretty neat I would say. This is the result created by Blue Willow. Just in case if you are wondering how to enable the plugins on your chat GPT. I think this option of plugins is only available for the plus users. So you'll have to select GPT-4. Once you select this, you'll have to go to the settings and enable your plugins. Come here and click on your, your user ID. Click on settings. Then you'll see this area. Come here and click on beta features. And you'll see this option of plugins. Just enable this. Or is called playgroundai.com. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come to the website, this is the interface you'll see. Just come here and create your free account. Once you've created your free account, this is the interface you'll see with all these cool and inviting images. Just come here and click on create. Then click on new canvas file to create your first image. Then you will see this interface. So they have two options. One is the canvas, which is an image creator plus an editor. And one is a board, which just lets you easily create images from prompts. So I'll just type my first prompt here. A magical underwater world. If you come here on the right side, you click on this tab. It shows you the model this website is using under the hood. It uses Stable Diffusion, DALI 2 and Playground V1. Let's select Stable Diffusion 2.1. Here are the dimensions. This is the prompt guidance, quality and details, number of images you want. You can adjust all of these parameters as per your need. And once you've done everything, just come here and click on Generate. Once this is done, the website will give me four images. Here they are. These are pretty nice. Now check out some other fun stuff. Come here and click on action. And then it gives you all these various options. If you like the image, you can just download it. You also have the option of upscaling it by four times. You have the option of removing the background. 
or you can view it in full screen. Let's go and check out this option which says edit in canvas. So now the image is opened up here. Let's see what we can do here. Here you can increase or decrease the opacity of the image. You can play around with the brightness, the contrast, the saturation and you can also change. Yeah. Let's say if you want to get rid of a certain object from the image. Come here and click on erase. Just run it over the object you want to erase. I want to get rid of this diver. And once this is done, come and click on erase. And boom, the diver is gone. Let this uh, editor also gives you the option to outpaint, outpaint and expand the image. Just come here and click on generate image. Then this tool comes up. You can just move the tool here. Let's say I want to expand the image here. I'll just move the tool like this and I'll rewrite the prompt. I have kept at least more than 50% of the frame in the previous image so that it can draw inspiration from the first generation. Click on generate. And here, like this, my underwater world has expanded on this side. Let's, let's say I want to expand the image further on the left side. Once again, I'll move this frame here. I'll at least try to ensure that 50% of this image is there in this frame. I'll let the prompt remain and click on generate. And once again, my underwater world has extended on the left side also. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's expand this a little bit here and let the prompt remain. Once again, I ensure that 50% of the previous picture is there, isn't there in this rectangle, there in this square frame and I'll click on generate. So see, you can continue expanding and outpainting your image as per your liking. Now let's see what else we can do. Once again, click on generate image. So this box comes up, click on the pencil and select the area where you want to generate the image. Then click on generate image. I'll type a diver. Click on generate. And here, as you can see, one and two, two divers have turned up in my underwater sea world, but it has also changed my sea world. Once you're done playing around and creating your images, just come here and click on import image. You can just go back to your profile and you'll find your image in your profile section. These were the original four images from where we can down from where we can download the HD version of them. The next tool we'll discover is called Lexica.art. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come to the website, this is the interface you'll see, which is again very cool and exciting. The best part about this website is it, it is absolutely simple and very easy to use. Once you come here and you create your free account, just come here. Either you can select in the search box for various pre-created images or you can come here and click on generate. Let's try this out. I'll type a lion playing poker and uh, you have the option of selecting the dimensions of the image over here. I'll stick to portrait for the time being. You can also uh, select the guidance here and you can also select the model. Once you're done all with once you're done with all of these settings, click on generate. In a few seconds, the website will create few options for us. And here they are. This is a lion playing poker. Here you have the option to just click on this and download the image. If you're not happy with what the website has created, you can click on this here to generate more variations. And now let's discover another trick by which we can take our image generation up a notch. To uh, to apply this trick, we'll go to this website called gravityright.com. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come to this website, just come here on uh, images, click on this, come here and click on AI art. Then you see this prompt box. We we'll just write what we we'll just write the details of the image we want to create. Just fill in the details of your image. And here it also gives us the option of selecting the type of the image we want to create, whether it's a photography style, illustration, watercolor, or Pixar 3D. I'll select Pixar 3D. Once we've put in all the details, click on create content. And here you can see Gravity Right will create a detailed prompt for us. Just go through the prompts and select the one you like. Let's copy this and take this to the site of uh, Lexica. I'll now paste the prompt that I've copied from Gravity Right and I'll click on generate and we'll see the result. And this is the result obtained from the next prompt. Let's try another one. This one is pretty close to a Pixar cartoon. And this is the this is the result from another prompt. This time the lion has been given a drink as well. I must say these pictures are worthy of being integrated in a cartoon format, either for a coloring book for children or some sort of animated picture book.
The next tool we'll check out is Adobe Firefly. It's by the Adobe Group. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come to the link, just log in with your Adobe account or create your free account using Google. Then you'll see this interface. Come here and click on Explore Firefly Beta. Then you'll see this interface. Come here and click on Text to Image. Click on Generate. Then you'll see this amazing interface. You'll see this search prompt box. Here you can just type in the prompt you want of the image you want to create. I have already created a prompt using Gravity Write. So I'll just paste that here and I'll click on generate. Here is the result. If you come here, you also have the option of regenerating the image by just clicking on this. The Adobe Firefly's website will keep regenerating more images for you. You can keep regenerating this until you're satisfied with the result. And let's try another one. I'll once again paste the prompt here that I've created using Gravity Write. Then I'll click on generate and here it is. The Adobe website has given me these results. I can come here and also select the aspect ratio of the picture I want. I can choose the style. Let me select photo and let's see the result. You can come here and also select the various tones, the lighting aspect and the styles. If you're happy with the result that you see, you can just come here, click on this button and download the image for free. All images created and downloaded from Adobe Firefly will come with the Adobe watermark. Let's try another prompt. And this is the result created from the new prompt. The Adobe Firefly platform also lets us have more fun and, ma and create more iterations of our image. Just go back to the platform and click on generative fill here. Then you will see this option. Let me upload the image that I created using Stability Diffusion. If you remember, this was the image we created using the first AI tool. <clears throat> now generative fill lets us add a lot of iterations to the image and manipulate it in many ways. For instance, if you want to add something here, I'll just select this area and come to this prompt box. And let's say I want to add a dog, a cute puppy. And I'll click on generate. Let's wait for the result. And here, Adobe's platform has given me four options with dogs behind Tom Cruise. This looks the most realistic one. So I'll click on keep. Maybe I feel it's very sunny in India and I want to make Tom Cruise wear a hat. So I'll select this area and I'll type hat and I'll click on generate. And here Adobe Firefly has made sure that Tom Cruise is wearing some sort of a cap so that he is prevented from the harsh Indian sun. Maybe it's sunny and we want to give him a drink too. So we'll once again click on add. I'll select this area and I'll type here a bottle of water. I'll click on generate and here you see Adobe Firefly has made, has made sure that Tom Cruise has some sort of a drink to make sure he doesn't die of thirst. Let's say I want to add a cameraman here who's clicking a picture of Tom Cruise. So I'll once again select on add, I'll select this area behind the door and then write cameraman and I'll click on generate. <clears throat> so these are the various cameramen that have appeared in the scene. I'm not too happy with this results, so I can... Or maybe this one looks okay, so I'll just click on keep. Video. Now that we have finished using all the tools, I personally think that all of these tools are fantastic. I particularly loved Playground AI and Stable Diffusion, which we used via ClipDrop. But having said all of this, I still feel they are not as good as my journey and mid journey is slightly better, at least for me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this video which is going to come up here on the screen. Because once now, since now you are creating incredible AI images, this video here will help you animate your brilliant images and turn them into potential movies. If you don't have time right now, save this for later because no video or app is more important than your time. I will continue to strive to make more such videos which will help us in our shared journey of self-improvement and how we can leverage the power of AI for our greater good. Thank you and see you in the next video.